Hey everybody, happy Easter. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of you won't be with all of your family, but hopefully some of you are with some of your family, those that you are quarantining with. Um, I am so very blessed and thankful to be here with you this week. I wanna thank all of you uh, for the enthusiasm and, and the thumbs up that you gave us last week for doing this and as per request we're going to make this a weekly series so thank you so much for that and for those of you that did find the tip jar and and donate to that i really appreciate that you were all so generous and thank you very much for that again it's it's not required in any way it's an optional uh thing for you there um, but anyways I miss all of you terribly, and I miss the uh, seniors and the veterans that I play for. Um, I do probably four, five, or six shows a week oftentimes for these people, and um, they're especially quarantined in, in very safe ways because they're so vulnerable. And so I thought maybe I would play a song that I always share with them, uh, and it, it's a popular one. People usually sing, and uh, it, it's so great that they remember all the lyrics to these songs, even though they sometimes can't remember if uh, they had breakfast. <laughs> but here's one of our favorites. imagining all of the uh, seniors and veterans singing along with me because they always do and I really miss that you know the faces light right up when I walk in with my guitar but sooner or later I'll get back together with all of them meanwhile 
it's springtime in Maine, but uh, a lot of us got a bunch of snow, <laughs> especially in the northern parts, uh, north and west. Um, you know, my other half, Eric, he lives up there in Rockwood, and he, I, I think they got about 16. And my sister's up in Rangeley, and I think they got more than that. And I don't know where y'all are listening from, but uh, if you're in Maine, hopefully you aren't uh, one of the families that is without power still. We know that that's happening. So we're sending you some support and some big love and uh, hope that you feel spring soon. But meanwhile, we are Mainers, and we know that it can snow in April, whether we like it or not. And that's why I absolutely have to do this song. I like to think of my favorite season when I have to shovel in April. It's an October morning and down by the sea reds and the yellows will all soon be gone there's a loon on the water she's laughing at me because shorts and a t-shirt are all i have on and i think i've been kissed by the last breath of summer it is sweet and it's warm in sound Cause there's a peace in the breeze That comes only with autumn As it teases the leaves From the trees to the ground And if you asked me to trade you The falls of New England For a mountain of riches My heart would say no Nothing compares to an Indian summer that can warm up your memories through mid-April snow. My favorite season is a fleeting adventure. It is bold and it's kind, but it's gone all too soon. So with all of my senses, I'll drink in the moment and let the last breath of summer sing. Cause nothing compares to an Indian summer That can warm up your memories Through mid-April snow That song, it feels so good to sing it every time I'm right back to that place where I was at when I wrote it. And uh, I know that it's been a special song for a lot of other people, not just me. So I'm sending a shout out to my friend Judy Puya out there in Tucson. She was inspired to paint a beautiful painting while listening to that song years ago. And uh, oh, it's so beautiful. and. God bless her, she actually sent it to me this fall. And it appeared 
unannounced and brought me to tears, so I hope I'm not going to cry right now. But I'm going to switch guitars. And uh, I also want to send a shout out to Roger and Lori down in North Carolina. They're from the Midwest, but lived in Maine for years, and they loved that song too, and that was one of their requests. So hi, Roger and Lori. Okay, let's see. Well, we got to do this song today. I brought all three guitars because I decided I was going to play in three different tunings. And I didn't want to bore you with tuning in the middle of the show. So let's hope they all stay in tune. Hold on, I need a splash of water. All right. It is spring, by the way, so we have to do this song. I'm so glad that God made spring Takes away that winter thing When the earth wakes up and it starts to sing I am so glad that God made spring It can make me cry to smell the air There's a sweet forgiveness everywhere Soon there'll be less clothes to wear. Makes me smile just to smell the air. Mm. Oh, when the trees start budding all around, the birds make loud their morning sound. Daylight lingers longer now when the trees start budding all around and I get so high when the colors come when the wildflowers dance inside the sun my heart is like come on I get so high when the colors come spring and it is right around the corner despite the fact we just got a bunch of snow all right where are we going next oh by the way I wished you happy Easter but I understand that there's an important birthday today too so I wanted to wish a happy 76th birthday to John Kruchevsky I think I got that wrong. Chuchevsky. Kruchevsky. I think I got it. Let's just call him Cruiser. I've learned that that's what people call him. Happy birthday, Cruiser. 76 going on 40, I am imagining. All right, where are we going next? Let's see. Um, oh, I know what we're going to do. So... We're all distancing, correct? Here's a song that I wrote years and years ago 
when I was trying not to distance, and yet I had a habit, <laughs> seemingly, of finding these long distance relationships. And um, this is a song that I wrote when I wanted to bring things closer together. And uh, hopefully, down the line a little bit, we'll all be able to get closer together. But meanwhile, uh, this is a little song called <laughs> Let's Play House. Can't wait to do that again. Well, you got your place, and I got my place. We get together. We got the time, but the time we're missing, we could be kissing, and every day could be so sweet and fine. Well, I'm an adaptable woman, but we've been apart for so long, and I got this idea. Let's play house. Why don't you build us a cabin we can call our own? Let's play house. You live so far away, and I have a feeling so all alone. We could put all of our pots and our pans together. Stay inside when it's nasty weather. I just love you, baby. Let's play house Well, I'd quit my bitchin' if you'd build me a kitchen And we could start cooking up some really good food <laughs> And then after the dishes, we could fill each other's wishes we go to bed early if we're in so long and I got this idea I think we ought to follow it through so let's play house why don't you build us a cabin we can call our own let's play house you live in so far away and I have a feeling so very alone oh, we could put all of our pots and our pans together when it's nasty weather, I just love you, baby. So let's play house. Don't need no house at the seaside, sugar, just as long as we can share the key. If you're living by my side, honey, any house will be like home to me. So let's play house. the distance people mm. okay hold on I brought some kava tea again that's uh, a tea that uh, relaxes you and uh, I, I think I said this last week but I'll say it again I've been drinking a lot of it because <laughs> we need to stay relaxed and positive oh yeah okay well guys when you can't play house and you're all alone, especially during something like we're all experiencing now, and uh, yes, it's been over four weeks 
that I've been talking to myself and been in my own little condo by myself. Um, so I've had to find ways to keep myself whole. And uh, I think everybody's trying to do that. Um, I do know uh, I live very close to a beach and I am fortunate that at low tide, this beach is really long and really wide. So we are able to walk there, uh, many of us, and not come close to one another. And so um, although some of the public parking areas uh, are not accessible right now, uh, I can ride my bike down and lock it up and get onto the beach or uh, find an unusual place to park and um, get on the beach. And it has been a godsend for me to be able to do that. And uh, I was so moved by a couple of days in a row of being down there walking on the beach when the sun was just shining down and the waves were miraculous and magical. Um, and I was inspired to write this song. So it's brand new and I'm a little bit nervous, but I know you're all uh, very forgiving. So um, I'm just gonna see what happens after another sip of kava tea. Uh, all right. And by the way, thanks for um, chirping in and, and sending in your comments while we're live streaming. I need you to know that I can't see those, but I was able to read them uh, after the event last week, um, and I will try to do that again. It, it's interesting, though. I tried to uh, reply to some of you, and then I couldn't see the replies back, and so I don't know how that works. I'm very right brain. I don't get any of this technical thing, but thank you so much for your comments, and keep them coming. All right, here we go. Let's get started in the right way. Uh. The mountains are calling, but they're out of reach. I live by the sea, so I'm drawn to the beach. I'm there in a flash when I'm falling apart Cause the ocean is music It soothes my heart So I come to you To your sand and your waves I come to your big open sky And the sun on my face Even gray lady have something to teach when my heart's in repair and no one is there I go to the beach ah. there's comfort and love from family and friends they're far away, so my heart depends on a slap in the face from a stiff ocean breeze. And the pounding of surf gets me up off my knees. So I come to you, to your sand and your waves. I come to the big open sky the sun on my face even gray lady days have something to teach when my heart's in repair and no one is there I'm drawn to the beat We're all seeking solace, I'm not alone. May we all find a place or a love to call home. I come to you, to your sand and your waves. I come to your big open sky. It puts a smile on my face, even gray lady. 
There's something to teach When my heart's in repair And no one is there I'm drawn to the beach The mountains are calling But they're out of reach I live by the sea So I'm drawn to the beach My heart was all a flutter doing that. That's a first. That's a first. No, I'm lying. I did this uh, sitting outside for a friend of mine last week, and it went pretty well. Um, but thank you for uh, listening to that. It gives me great joy to have a wide open space very close to where I live and get, get to it. Because um, uh, we all need some outdoor activity and just uh, sun on our face, that's for sure. I hope you got some today. It was pretty nice in the morning where I'm at. Now we are going over. I'm going to need this. Hold on. I'm getting my third guitar. And um, I would like to suggest that... Uh, there is a comfort in being around water. Um, I've written a lot of water songs, and this next one has water in it, and uh, it's a special request for a friend of my, from a friend of mine. And um, I think oftentimes water can be a little dangerous too. It depends on what you're up to and whether it's fast moving or there's a tidal surge or something like that. But um, this next song, it's a true story um, about a time when uh, I was a student at University of Maine in Orono and my friend Liza and I got up real early to watch the sunrise on the Stillwater River up there. And uh, here's what happened. Oh, good, I think I'm in tune. <laughs> Helpful. train up in Orono. It was me and Liza, the sun coming up, it was coffee, and coffee in a paper cup. It was the rock sticking out in the river below, waiting on a train up in Orono. fun, you know, waiting on a train up in Orono. Well, you could jump off the trestle where the water ran bad, or you could run for your life. That's where the choices you had. But I never thought Liza's feet wouldn't go, waiting on a train up in Orono.
Liza took to running fast as she could go. She barely beat the train up in Reno. We were huddled by the tracks, trying to breathe. I was staring at Liza. She tried to speak. She said, you know, some days it's a toss-up. Which way to go? Waiting on a train up in Reno. Whatever happened to Liza? I haven't seen her and I just don't know. Whatever happened to Liza? She's waiting on a train up in Reno. I will never forget that day. And I really don't know where Liza is. Um, she was a year behind me in school. And I did find out later on that she graduated, which is good news because uh, I graduated and left and wondered what happened with her. She seemed a little vulnerable. And uh, we all wondered if she got dragged away by the Moonies because <laughs> she was kind of looking for something to... Uh, land her feet on it seemed to me but um, I, if she's out there and she's listening Liza will you please let me know you're okay <laughs> all right hold on gotta wet my whistle how y'all doing out there did you have an Easter dinner today um did you get outside here in southern Maine anyway it was really nice it's starting to cloud up a little bit but I hope you took advantage of it because tomorrow's not supposed to be so nice Mm. Okay. Well, this song is a little more adventurous and not... Well, yeah, there's Danger in This Water song, too, now that I think of it. Um, I wrote this after a whitewater rafting trip. And uh, it was my second time on uh, rough water like that. And uh, I was looking forward to it. But there was a lot going on that day. And a lot of people don't know the whole story behind this song. But if you listen closely... The lyrics could be interpreted a number of ways. So um, I like to think, think of this song as being about rafting, life in general, and perhaps um, wishful lusting, <laughs> just so you know. So uh, yeah, I kind of had the hots for one of the river guides, and that's all I'm going to tell you. Okay, it goes like this. Not like that. We met you by the river with no holds barred. We were sink or swim, and we were gonna play hard. Zipping up my life, best look around the bend. I only knew. started turning we kept on anyway stubborn and excited and flirting with balls we hit the big kahuna and lost it all
desk that'll set you free. It's bliss and drowning, and it's not knowing when, but you're wet and tired and ready to ride again. songs there's a lot of water songs this is a gentler water song and uh it's about um about an island that i used to go to as a kid um uh, myself my brother my three sisters mom dad and then all the cousins and uh, we'd go to uh, an island, just about 20 minute boat ride out of Booth Bay Harbor. And um, I'm talking about Squirrel Island and you might've heard of it. Um, it's a, a small little place and uh, uh, a lot of the homes out there are owned by generation after generation after generation. And as a kid, my grandparents had a a place uh, way up on the high spot on the island and and we got to go out there for about a month every summer when I was a kid and it was just fabulous um, but then after high school um, I got busy with life and uh, I never seemed to get out there much and I, I think about 20 years went by um, and all of a sudden I had the yearning to go back and um, I worked with some people to put together a, a small house concert at the cottage that um, my aunt, who was still living at the time, God rest her soul, Phoebe's gone now. Love ya, Aunt Phoebe, hope you're listening from up above. But um, uh, her daughter Trudy is taking care of the place now. And um, But back then, uh, uh, Phoebe was out there and uh, I did a house concert at this cottage that uh, I used to spend all that time in growing up and um, when I got back on the island it was like I had never left. I felt like I was eight years old all over again and um, I didn't want my shoes on and uh, and I remember specifically walking up these stone steps to get to the front of the cottage and um, when I was little it was raspberry bushes all the way up this stone walkway and they were gone when I got back there years later but because memory is so um, vivid I smelled them I could smell the raspberries um, it, it was just an amazing uh, journey to go back there and feel like a kid all over again and uh, I remember walking into the cottage and getting to the top of the stairs and I rounded the corner to my old room and I just burst into tears because I don't know because I do that <laughs> But anyhow, this one's called The Island. A year later, I went back and uh, I did a concert in the chapel there and I sang this song and uh, uh, people wept and I'm going, okay, see, I'm not the only one that does that. Get this right. Okay, wait a minute. We're having a meltdown here. Let me get it. 
After that intro, we gotta get this. There it is. I went back to the island. Little did I know, left a part of me there. Such a long time ago When I got to the island I climbed the long stone stairs The raspberries were gone But I could smell them there There's a house on the island It sits on a hill And there's a piece of my heart That lives there still Everywhere on the island It smells so sweet And I sleep so good Under cotton sheets When I go to the island, I am young again, and I can hear Papa playing the accordion. As I dream on the front porch in a big rocking chair, it'll be dinner time soon, and all my cousins will be there. There's a house on the island, it sits on a hill, and there's a piece of my heart that lives there still. I wear their feet instead of shoes and socks, and I catch a big flounder down on the docks. There's cucumber sandwiches and lobster too, and we'll race to the beach, jump into the blue. There's a dance at the hall for the older crew, and if I ever grow up, I might dance there with you. Now I go to the island and I bring my song. I feel the history there. I want to pass it on. I leave a piece of my heart on the island I know. And I carry the island wherever I go. There's a house on the island, it sits on a hill, and there's a piece of my heart that lives there still. I go down to the cove where I learn to swim, and I can taste salt water all over again. And I'm there on the island. <laughs> A little rough start there, but I th we got it. I've never played that song on this guitar. It felt a little funny under my fingers, but... All right, I'm gonna need this. Hold on. Where are we going next? Well, guys, last time I was here, I did a John Prine song. Uh, he was in ICU at the time, struggling with complications from COVID-19. Two days after our first Songs for a Sunday event, um, he left us. He got his wings. I, um, I sang Angel from Montgomery last week, uh, one of my favorites, a lot of people's favorite. Um, but now he's an angel, and I thought about singing either Hello in There or Sam Stone, which are two other beautiful John Prine songs, but quite honestly, I don't think I could get through it because right now I'm choking up. So I decided not to do that, but I, I do want to share something that he said. Um, a, a good friend of mine, Sally, sent me a, um, a newspaper article uh, talking about his life, and um, I, I 
a quote in an interview from 2005 really resonated with me, so I want to share that with you. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Hold on, it's over here. He was being interviewed by someone at the Library of Congress. And the question might have been, or must have been, what comes first, the music or the lyrics? Because I get that one all the time. And uh, his answer was, you know, sometimes the best ones come together at the exact same time and it takes about as long to write it as it does to sing it. They come along like a dream or something and you just got to hurry up and respond to it because if you mess around, the song is liable to pass you by. Now, that really resonated with me um, because oftentimes I write songs as if I'm not really writing them. I feel like they uh, come through me, that they're coming from someplace else. And like John says, you got to stop everything that you're doing and let it flow through and capture it or it's gone. And um, I, I have lost songs because I thought, oh, I'll remember that. And then I don't. So anyway, these next couple of songs are examples of tunes that uh, I wrote in such a way. Um, and I also thought that these songs would lend themselves to, I don't know, uh, offering up uh, some solace and uh, helping us all to tap into our inner strength and uh, remind one another that even though we have to be socially distancing right now. We can still be there for one another. Um, and this one is called Touch Another Life. And uh, I haven't touched anybody in a, quite a while. <laughs> but uh, I am touched by all of you hanging out with me today. And I, I know that we can touch each other's lives in so many ways right now. And uh, music is one of them. So. So I wrote this one, most all of it, at a really long red light. <laughs> I wasn't going to let it slip by me. stoplight cell phones up to many ears people racing through their days just ahead of their own fears but in the back seat of the next car they catch the eyes of a child and just before the light turns green we exchange a smile can i touch you with some Touch it with a smile. Could we not be in a hurry for a little while? Can we touch another life? We can touch another life. It wasn't very long ago, my car went off the road. The couple stopped. All dressed up in their wedding clothes They pushed me out, their hair got messed And their shoes and clothes got wet They took no pay and they drove away In a glow I won't forget Can I touch you with some heart? Maybe touch you with a word Would you tell me that I said what I think you heard Can we touch another life? We can touch another life hey. Can we touch another life? Maybe try to get it right It's alone. 
touch you with some hope, maybe touch you with a smile, but may not be in a hurry for a little while. Can I touch you with some heart, maybe touch you with a word, to tell me that I said what I think you heard? Can I touch you with some hope, maybe touch you with a smile, but may not be in a hurry for a little while? Can I touch you with some heart, maybe touch you with a word, to tell me that I said what I think you heard? Can we touch you? Touch another life. We can touch another life. Mm. Oh, yeah. That was a long red light. Scarborough, Maine, Dunstan Corner. No, that's not that one. Oak Hill Plaza, that's where it was. You ever been stuck in that light? Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, before I forget, I just want to mention again that um, all of us, whenever we can, in whatever way we can, if we can just uh, express our gratitude to all of those people that are touching people's lives, saving lives, putting their own lives at risk, those people on the front lines, and uh, I'm talking about the medical people, the truckers, the people in the grocery stores, the teachers who had to reinvent the whole, a whole new way to teach our students. Um, but the love is pouring out in so many ways. People that went and, and gave blood, uh, just like, whew, um, whatever we can do to help each other through this, that's what we're doing. And God bless those who are looking for a, a vaccine to... Uh, help us uh, flatten the curve. Um, so if we can all continue to do what we're doing and stay safe and wear masks and gloves when we need to um, and stay home. You know, there have been songs written about stay home with, you know, expletives in it. I don't know if you've, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, some of them are kind of funny. Stay the home. <laughs> so anyways, I'm not going to sing that one. Hold on, got to wet my whistle. Mm. All right, so getting back to the John Prine quote, he said uh, sometimes that songs come to you like a dream. Well, this one actually did come to me in a dream. Um, I remember specifically I was doing a, a, a two-night gig over in Jackson, New Hampshire, and uh, I was kind of like half awake and half asleep way before getting out of bedtime and uh, I had a little handheld uh, voice activated uh, recorder by my bed because we didn't have smartphones back then and um, uh, I had this whole song in my head from a dream it came to me in this dream and I didn't want to fully wake myself up because I knew I would lose it so I kind of just grabbed the thing and just mumbled into it and put it back on the coffee, the little bedside table there and then uh, went back to sleep. And I woke up a couple hours later and I checked it out and pretty much the whole song was there, the melody, everything. And I was like, really? Okay. But um, I worked on it that day. I tried to find some music for it and I actually played it that night at the gig. So um, yeah. This is why I relate to that John Prine quote very well. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a child that there was something more I held the key for a long while then I went looking for the door and only now I realize that it is right here in my song I take the blinders from my eyes and I My 
heart would not survive. But I held on and I believe. Now I thank God that I'm alive. You can call it what you want to. Though it does not need a name. I have found what I was missing. And I will never be the same. And I always knew something powerful. My soul come together, I am whole. And I knew, yes, I knew there was you. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Oh, I... Something powerful will pull us through, people. We have to believe that. Um, thank you so much for checking this out today and tuning in and for any comments you might have made. Um, I, like I said, I don't get to see those as they're happening. Uh, I have a request for Ziggy Blues. We will put that on the set list for next week because I'm running out of time. I tend to do that. I had another song on my list, but I'm going to have to save that one till next week as well. And I want to give another shout out to John Kruszewski because I messed up his name earlier and it's it's a weird spelling and I don't know how to do it but I just saw the secret so John happy 76th and I love your nickname cruiser and I want everyone to stay safe please do what we need to do so we can flatten this curve and then we can all hook up and get together again and oh boy that's gonna be a big party you want to talk about some music happening and some hugs, and some high fives, and laughter, and um, I can't wait for all that. But meanwhile, stay safe, and dig down deep for that magical gift that you all have inside yourselves that's going to keep you healthy through this. And I will see you next week. And, uh, oh, one more thing. If you aren't able to do the live stream, we are loading these shows up onto YouTube uh, within two or three days after the show, and you can find 
those on my website, um, which is easy to remember, AnnieClark.com, A-N-N-I-C-L-A-R-K.com. There's no E's. I am E-less, but I'm not clueless. So anyways, love you guys. Thanks so much. Happy Easter. Happy birthday, John. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.